Hey there guys, welcome back. So Pixel 6 and 6 Pro are making headlines with their new Tensor chip which apparently took 4 years in the making, then there are improvements in voice and speech processing, new camera sensors and to make things even better, there are design changes making this the best all-round flagship phone that can give Samsung and Apple phones a run for their money. Now first and foremost, unlike last year, Google will be launching two phones, one regular and one larger phone. But both are flagship, so no need to worry about performance. Now with that being said, let's dive into everything that's been rumored, leaked or even straight up confirmed by Google themselves. So starting with the design, to be frank, there is nothing much changed since the first leak about the design, but Google showed off the design confirming what we knew and few new minor things such as the standard Pixel 6 is said to have a matte aluminum finish, while the Pixel 6 Pro will have a light polished aluminum frame. Both phones have an industrial design with squared off corners. If we talk about the front of the phone, it's similar to most Android flagship phones with slim bezels, in-display fingerprint scanner and centered hole punch cutout. What's different this time compared to Pixel 5 is the earpiece. Yeah, Pixel 5 had an under-display earpiece speaker, while the Pixel 6 series will get a conventional earpiece. This is to save some space on top. Also, the stereo speaker is present only on the Pro variant. As for the display specs, the Pixel 6 is rumored to feature a 6.4-inch 90Hz flat display, whereas the 6 Pro will reportedly pack a 6.67-inch 120Hz curved AMOLED screen. Now for the processor, the most interesting thing about the Pixel 6 is its own tensor silicon in both of its phones. It's codenamed Whitechapel which you have heard plenty of times by now. It is made in partnership with Samsung and will use the high-end Mali G78 GPU. What this chip specifically excels in is the AI and machine learning. It combines a mobile TPU for AI-led operations and a new Titan M2 security chip. Beyond that, we really don't know anything significant. But Google CEO said that their goal isn't to offer more clock speed or gigahertz, but for better integration with AI, so don't expect over-the-top raw performance. The Tensor chip will enable Google to apply its computational photography magic to not just the photos but even to videos, and this will develop as the time goes on. So the processing will be a game changer with its new Tensor chip, and so will be the new camera hardware. As per latest leak by John Prosser of Front Base Tech, the Pixel 6 is rumored to come with a dual rear camera setup, that is a 50 megapixel primary camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens. The Pixel 6 Pro, on the other hand, will reportedly have a triple rear camera setup that would include an additional 48 megapixel telephoto lens alongside the two cameras from the Pixel 6. The Pixel 6 will reportedly have an 8 megapixel front camera, while the Pixel 6 Pro will have a 12 megapixel shooter. About the battery, the Pixel 6 is set to get 46 14mAh battery and 6 Pro with a slightly larger 5000mAh. But what we don't know is its fast charging capabilities. On the software front, Android 12 is pretty much confirmed, it will come with number of useful features, but what's interesting is the software support. Both the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro are set to get up to 5 years of support, which would be in line with what Apple does. So the next thing is the price. It is a mystery right now, but we all know that Google is targeting a premium price tag, so start saving. And the launch is expected to happen in early October. So that's it for this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.